if you look here, for example, it's, it's raw. So it was pulled right out. We don't scissor cut that back. everyone. Well this is a little surrender that has just arrived. His name is Fabio and I've spent the last hour and a half assessing little Fabio and letting him settle in and you'll see down there a little tiny piggy that has come from the lab rescue. He's a little male piggy who I have situated just beside a cage where Fabio was and they've been able to talk to each other because Fabio has been through a lot of trauma and just seeing another piggy has been really helpful to him. So basically I was contacted by someone who had been given Fabio and the circumstances were around Fabio being mistreated. So the fellow that actually brought him here knew the person who had Fabio and saw that his hair was being pulled out by hand and just could not um, stand the level of pain or torture that was occurring. He described this little animal as being tortured and having been tortured and yeah essentially he was delivered, Fabio was then delivered to this person in a bag with a massive handful of hand pulled hair from this little animal. So he was shaking for about a week. He's had him for maybe a week and a little more and didn't know anything about guinea pigs, but essentially um, asked his friends as to where and what and how he could look after this little fellow while he calmed down. And he treated him as well as he could and he's now contacted and found us. So he's made his way into Cavi Central. So what he does have is some fungal occurring in the coat and around his ears you know it's it's we see far worse and you'll see in lots of our videos far worse cases but there is fungal in around here and it's typical also with these long-haired guinea pigs or rexes where the coat is much more uh, dense so the, this little fellow what he does have which is really obvious and I haven't actually seen this before myself but it's where sections of hair have just been... Well, actually, no, there was a case where we did have a guinea pig that was dumped, but it, it had a massive section of hair pulled out, and we always gathered it, it got away from a cat or something like that. But in this case, there are little places all over in, in big sections where... I know, if I touch him too hard, he doesn't like it. I know, you're going to be fine. But you might notice some of the the areas where you can see it's been pulled out um, of him. So, you know, makes you wonder about people sometimes, doesn't it? Uh, he does have some, you know, some mats back here, but look, matting like this is very easily dealt with, and I've shown you in lots of the videos how to do that. And the fact that the coat is long and short and patchy like this and not uh, scissored also sort of flies with the story. And I know he's very talkative now. He hasn't actually seen him make a sound or talk since he's come. And now he can't stop talking because he's got a little buddy near him. Yeah. So we'll, we'll actually keep that buddy near him. And uh, we'll update you with Fabio. Once we deal with, you know, the fungal that's here, we will be able to see if they can be buddies. And uh, that might be the case. But, you know, he was... The first time he came across him, he he went to uh, this he went to um, this person's place, and this little fellow was hiding down between a cupboard and a door and shaking. And uh, it's then that he found out what he was doing to him and witnessed some some nasty behaviour. So look, he hasn't got any wounds or damage in that way. And long-haired guinea pigs can be a little bit tricky to groom, but grooming doesn't consist of pulling hair out. You need to, to do that carefully and to cut it off. So have a look at some of the, the grooming videos that we have. I could also put some links in here, and uh, it, that can show you if you're not sure of how to groom these long-haired guinea pigs. 
Apparently he does have another guinea pig that he is very connected to and loves very much. But this little one he said he hates and despises and uh, treated extremely bad and it was described to me as he was constantly tortured. So um, certainly he's calmed down considerably in the time that the fellow has had him. And he showed me the photos of how he arrived and what he arrived with. So there's no question the hair has actually been pulled right out of him because if you look here, for example, it's it's raw. So it was pulled right out. We don't scissor cut that back. And this isn't mites where it's falling out. This is actually where it's come out for some reason. Perhaps, you know,